Hello. Welcome, welcome back. It is Mrs. Empowerment Coach in the building. Yes, it is, aka the Educator Coach. Hey, y'all. I am so excited to be back here with you guys. I have so much information to drop on you today. But let me go ahead and, and welcome everybody. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. This is Empowerment Schooling Coaching Network. Yes, yes, this is a platform for life coaches that all have the same passion. That is to empower the masses with hope, having only positive experiences. You guys, that is meant for you all to begin to understand yourselves from an emotional position. You all have a brain and all emotions start in your brain. So you guys here at Empowerment School, we focus on the hows and the whys to increase your chances of having a better experience even when those emotions arise and present themselves. You guys, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so that you're always connected to empowerment so that you are growing from a personal standpoint as well self-development from an emotional standpoint. You guys, I'm so glad to be here with you. I have something so, so special to show you. So let me go ahead. As you know, I start my timer when I do this. So let's do it. You guys, our baby, our baby, myself and my partner, Alyssa, the biracial guru, Oh my gosh, you guys, our baby is here. It is here in the actual physical form. It has taken us a while to do all the research, to redo, undo, to just a lot has happened for our baby to be in a physical form. You guys, we talk to you all so much about emotions and there's only eight of them and what they are and things of that nature. You guys, it's here ready available to purchase the link will be available well it is available in the comments of this video i'm so excited it is the mind's guide of emotion the mind's guide of emotion this is your guide this is yours to emotions you guys i'm so excited that it's here and it's present like it's physical instead of us just having to explain to you guys everything now our vision is here you guys we drop freebies in here for you not just emotions we got some personal some life skills in here for you like what love really is and happiness and wealth and success it's all in here baby we got you covered honey so do yourself a favor and get you a copy keep it with you you guys we have left you references where you can go and read these things for yourselves this is just it's phenomenal the mind's guide of emotions okay the mind guide of emotions i'm so excited omg you guys and i actually am going to do this video literally out of this particular um out of our book because what i'm talking to you about it is actually in this book so that is going to be ways to master trust you guys i'm only going to go over five of them for the sake of time but um there will be the book is available. If, check out the blog on www.empowermentschooling.com to get the other five and also get you the copy of the book. All 10 of them will be there. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first one. I'm so excited. This is just wonderful. So um, the first way, and you all know that's the topic we've been speaking on, is trust. Um, so when it comes to trust, it's important that you know what trust is, what the feelings of it are, some values about increasing trust, and then it's also important for you to know ways to increase and to master trust for your own personal benefit and your own personal good, so that way you have a a vast array of understanding of what trust is and why it's an emotion and why we are um, stating what it is that we're stating and bringing shedding light that's what's happening we're shedding light on these particular avenues now the one thing that um, with trust that I think is a big 
a big, big part of mastering and increasing trust in yourself as well for others. Um, it's a good idea to listen to your intuition. When you're understanding what trust is, you do understand that you have nine senses. Um, I know that we were taught that we have five senses. Um, and if you check out the blog, the all nine senses are listed there. Um, but it does include the five, but um, the four that are missing are temperature and time and um, perception of, a, you know, awareness around you. Um, and it's another one um, at this moment. It's um, leaving my mind, but it's on the blog. Trust me. I know them all. I'm just trying for the sake of time. Listen to your intuition. It is a good idea that you trust people that you don't trust people who talk bad about other people. You guys, if people are willing to come to you, first of all, let's figure out why it is that they feel so comfortable coming to you, talking to you about that. Let's let's check that. That's what, in a part of trust. When someone, when you're able to check, not what they addressed, but how it came and how it feels to you, then that's allowing that person to check themselves. Trust yourself. Trust that intuition. If somebody is coming to you talking about somebody else, trust and believe, they'll go to somebody else and talk about you. Um, if the person is coming to you now, if they're, they're, they're giving you information for advice on how them to handle it, that's a different story. But if this is just direct derogatory slander on a person, then that's got to stop. And you're going to have to cut that at the bud. And you might need to cut that person because, you know, if they'll do it to them, know that that they're capable of doing it to you. Um, pay attention to your intu intuition and to what people, whoever it is that you do trust, what they say about people in your life. Because those that are in your life that you actually trust, that you have these set boundaries with when you're understanding relationships, because you know the type of the, the relationship that, that you hold most important to you, there's a respect that they have for you and that you have for them. So they're going to give you their honest opinion. So it's okay for you to listen to what somebody else around you is saying. I said, listen, I didn't say take, take it into and make it be your lifestyle. You have to be able to trust that somebody's coming to you because they care and you apply that caring to how it fits in your life. Little nugget there. Now, when the second thing is practice those boundaries if you aren't aware of what boundaries are there is going to be a link attached so that you're able to understand the different types of relationships and the boundaries that should be set within those relationships to keep those relationships solid and to keep those boundaries in place it's perfectly okay to get rid of people in your life that have shown you that they don't value your values and there's a video that's going to be linked here the Trust values. If you if you don't you don't know your values and somebody else don't know those values, then we got to get back to trusting you and understanding how to set values for you so that uh, so that you can display those values for other people to trust. Um, and let go. It's okay to let go of those who consistently break your trust. You are not to be abused. Your emotions are not to be abused. That's why we are setting boundaries. So when you are increasing your trust, ensure that you're doing those things to keep those boundaries that you set in place for you to stay in trust of you and for you, for other people to stay trusting in you as well for you to trust in other people. So then next, observe other people's habits. Look for patterns and notice what people do when you trust them, whether they're worthy of it or not. Did you hear what I said? Look for patterns, okay? You can, if you feel like it's okay for you to trust somebody multiple times, which it's, it's a good, I'm not going to say it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's up to you to determine how many times a person can cross you, can break your trust, can cross those boundaries before enough becomes enough in your life because it's you that has to live that life. And you know how important somebody else's energy in your life plays in your life. I can't tell you that, only you, you know your life. 
you know what's important to you, but you also are going to have to pay attention to the habits when you are giving that second chance or that third chance, because there becomes a pattern that you create that that person is now trusting that they can break those patterns and you will continue to allow it. So this is a two sided street. Mind you, trust is about you. Okay. Then, um, another one that's out of the mind's got of emotion is going to be one of, uh, believe in yourself. You guys, it's very, very important. This is your particular life. You have the power. You give more power than you give yourself credit for. Trust is all on you. I just said that. Rewind it back and hear that again so that you can ensure and understand what trust is and why you should watch habits, even your own. Um, know that you know that it's okay to handle types of situations if you feel like you've been violated or even if they make you sad that everything will be okay and you can overcome it you guys you got to believe in yourself even if you have failed yourself okay which happens it does happen you guys it happens you gotta know how to take some time back to look at it this is time for a self-check when you have allowed another hurt, another disappointment, another setback, because those somehow you have allowed your boundaries, you have allowed your boundaries to be crossed. Your trust that you had in yourself has somewhere it's wavering. So let's get back to us. But in doing that, don't beat yourself up. Go back sit down, rewind it, make it, make it be a situation that you can measure out and say, okay, when this happens, this is how I'm going to react. Because when I did this, this is what happened. You know, you're in control of your destiny. You're in control of you. So it's important that you understand how to trust you and how to fix you when you mess up on you, because you're the star player of you. Okay. Um, you can overcome all these feelings that you are feeling about yourself when you're like, man, I knew I shouldn't have trusted that. Man. You know what I'm saying? All right, listen. So next time when that happened, I'm going to go with this first. So moving forward, don't live in the moments too long because that's allowing other negative and lower energies to attach to you because you are in a place of distrust and a state of vulnerability within yourself. Know how to take some time so that you can rebuild your trust within yourself. Don't live in it. Learn from it. Um, you guys, there's so much information in this book. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just blown away. I'm gonna give you the fourth one, which is gonna be take baby steps, okay? With, 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 with this whole trust thing, with this believing in yourself, and um, all the others that I mentioned. You guys, I'm gonna need you to take baby steps. That's a, that's one of the steps that you're gonna need to do. If you, if your trust was recently broken, don't beat yourself up. Give yourself some time to recover, okay? You're going to need some time to let your brain and all of your organs get back to flowing so that you're able to understand and you're able to hear and you're able to take in what needs to be taken in and you're able to let go of what needs to be letting go. But it's going to start with you making the choice. If you having those negative thoughts, and those negative feelings, when it's it starts at a thought, you guys. So you heard it as a thought. Made you feel a certain type of way. Made you say a certain type of thing. Made you act a certain type of way. Okay? Let's stop it up here. Soon as that negative thought happened, you owe yourself three positive affirmations. Man, I'm so stupid. Okay? Man, I am so smart. I know better than to keep falling for this trap. I'll pay closer attention next time. Okay, nugget number two. Now I'm going to get ready to roll out of here. And so lastly, I want you guys to learn the type of qualities you like in other people. Okay. If that means you take some time to go get something to drink by yourself and just sit around and look at people in order for you to know what you like, you're going to need some time 
alone. Okay. You're definitely going to need some time alone. You're not going to be able to keep surrounding yourself with so much energy and so many different people, but then you're saying you're wanting to change. In order for change to happen, just like when you put the clothes in the washing machine, they're dirty, and then they go through those different cycles, but those cycles happen one at a time, okay? But when it's in the dryer, it's doing one thing alone. It's drying, okay? You're going to need some time alone to soak to wash, to rinse, to spin, to rest, then to dry. Okay? So, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments how you felt. Share this video. Like it. Subscribe to the channel. Stay connected to Empowerment. Also, grab you a copy of the Mind's Guide of Emotion. The link will be in the descriptions. I hope this has been helpful. Stay connected to Empowerment. Choose hope on purpose. Having only positive experiences. Guess what, you guys? I'll see you in the next one.